My name is Mark Wicks. I am uh, currently a 51 year old, just retired from the Royal Marines after 32 years of service. Uh, I was very fortunate and privileged to serve in the most prestigious position that we were recognised in the Corps as the Corps Regimental Sergeant Major, the most senior NCO within the NCO Corps of the, uh, the Royal Marines. Whilst in the uh, Royal Marines, I uh, specialised within physical training uh, and I was selected to be the United States Marine Corps Physical Training Advisor over in Washington at their uh, officer candidate school. Uh, on completion of my time as the Corps Regimental Sergeant Major, I was then very, very fortunate to be selected by one of NATO's Supreme Ally Commanders based over in Norfolk in Virginia to be his command senior enlisted leader. So I was responsible for the transformation, the development and training of the non-commissioned officers in the 28 nations. I was uh, selected for that job by a French four-star general by the name of Stéphane Abriel. And uh, I've currently just finished my time serving there in America uh, in July this year. And uh, I am now just transitioned from the Royal Marines after 32 years of service. Very interestingly that I have uh, sort of chosen the Phoenix course having looked at the market that's out there at the moment and I will say most of it came from advice from uh, other sort of ex-serving Marines that I've had the honour to work with that have guided me in this way towards the Phoenix course. Uh, many years ago I have sort of been employed to assist people with uh, escorting duties and things like that and uh, it was time now for me to actually get a recognised position and a qualification that would assist me with possible future employment. Having retired from the Royal Marines uh, only at the end of the, this year just gone by, I am now looking for a new career uh, to hopefully provide support to my family and, uh, and uh, to ensure that uh, I ensure that they can live the lifestyle that hopefully we became accustomed to. Um, the advice that I was given by the men that are working within the industry was that Phoenix would be probably their preferred choice out of the uh, courses that are out there. And I was very, very fortunate to find myself a place so soon and uh, I've just finished the two-week course based up in Birmingham, uh, staying at the Hilton Hotel. What I can say about the course is after 32 years of uh, serving in the Marines, I was very impressed by the conduct of the, uh, the course structure, the conduct of the instructors that were very current uh, with uh, the, uh, the skill sets that are required within this sort of executive uh, close uh, protection officers sort of environment of work. And uh, I, I've, I felt myself to be you know, a young student on a course like I was in the Marines many years ago and I've done nothing but learn and been challenged, more importantly, because I still thrive on a challenge and, and, and want to be tested, you know, as in, in, in the sort of more difficult scenarios that we may come across. And what I will say is that uh, the reality of the exercises that I've completed on this course have been absolutely outstanding. You know, from changing of environment, from changing of demands by principles, etc. And being given that opportunity, but in a live theatre, of with a current sort of situation at the moment, uh, where everybody's eyes and ears are out there seeing how people are reacting within the, the local populace. So for us to remain sort of covert, keeping a low profile in, in a sort of heightened security threat in the UK was extremely interesting and challenging. But uh, I will say the instructors have done a phenomenal job uh, because of their own credibility and their, uh, their, their own experiences at the very highest level of protection within our nation. It uh, made it an even more sort of demanding environment for us. So it, it's been an absolute buzz if I was to use a word like that. And uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And the company of the other people. And one of the biggest challenges that you, know, you find with a course like that is the different abilities of people, but that's when the team has to come together. You know, I, I, I always think that we're only as good as our weakest link, so uh, if we can build up the people below us that may not be quite so suitable or as good, then uh, you know, hopefully that will make the best out of everything. And I, and I would say it's been an absolute team effort and everything we've done pulling off each other's own experiences has been phenomenal. So uh, I absolutely made the right choice and the right course.
many, many years ago, before the SIA was brought as a legitimate uh, organisation and authority, I had done a few jobs, but not with any specific training. And uh, when I came back from my last previous tour away, uh, working in America with the Supreme Allied Commander of uh, the Alliance, um, coming back home I still had to pursue a career uh, and this is a career that I thought I would like to sort of carry on working within but I couldn't work because I wasn't accredited or had any licensing by the SIO and knowing that Phoenix were a, uh, a, a recognized organization that were accredited to the SIA this was the company that I chose because to do anything in the future I have to be a licensed um, close protection officer. So Phoenix was the choice for me on where I was going to get that qualification because I knew of the quality of the instructors, the conduct, of, it was, uh, the, the, the structure of the course and that it would give me the skill sets probably in the most realistic environment that I could come across and all the exercises being resourced with top range equipment, top range quality uh, uh, cars etc to get to feel it for real. I just mention a little bit about the guys that you told me you were in the car with, but sort of make it relevant to this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, I can do that. Uh, many years ago, uh, you know, when I, I was uh, working for uh, a company down in the southwest, and uh, I was very fortunate to deliver a few of the sort of sporting sort of people, Manchester United with Alex Ferguson and uh, Ryan Giggs. I've driven for uh, Michael Schumacher and Rubens Barrichello before I delivering them around in sort of London, but without any real skill sets that uh, I knew of, only because of my recent career and, and uh, time in the Marines was I able to sort of work within that environment and know what I was doing. Perfect. Yeah. The shooting day uh, that we uh, participated in uh, was extremely relevant. Um, not so just so much for my own experience because of my years' experience within the Marines, but more so for the rest of the uh, team that are around us. But it was conducted very well by great instructors. It gave us the use to uh, understand that if you were ever to go to a sort of hostile environment or somewhere like that, that at least these people around us may have been exposed to how they would handle a weapon. So I think it was probably very beneficial for the other members that were on the course. May not be quite so important for those that have served for such a long time, but what a great opportunity. The one thing I really did take away from that day was that it gave us an opportunity to break out of the classroom environment and for people to be sort of develop more of a bond and be a little bit more relaxed. And actually this is where the, uh, the, the, the CEO of the company came and, and spoke to every one of us in a, in a very inspiring way actually that I pinned my ears back and sat back and looked up and felt you know, this is a person that I would be quite happy to sort of work alongside or, or work with or take my education from with this whole new world that I've stepped into. The driving day on the course was a, a, a great day for me and I know it was a great day for the rest of the course. Um, I've never been exposed to that type of driving in that sort of protection mode because I've always been driven around or been driving vehicles that are sort of green or camouflaged in colour and everybody knows what they are. Whereas in this environment here to learn from real quality instructors who have had years and years of experience within the police and to be sort of almost let free on a huge airfield and taught all these new skills from the pit skills to the J-turns, protective driving as a team, uh, wonderful time. You know, as I said before with the uh, shooting, it was a breakout time at the right time of the course for people to come out of the classroom environment and learn a totally new skill. And I, and I can tell you how excited the people were about it. We were all asking about how do we do further courses. And I know that uh, Phoenix are thinking about developing a uh, possible more advanced driving course. But uh, wonderful day, you know. The things that we learned that hopefully we'll never use on the roads, but if necessary, you know, we would know what to do. So uh, it's been a great day. The culmination of the course that we've been on sort of comes together in the final exercise, which for me was a, a great challenge because of all the new skill sets that we as a course, and not just myself, have learnt over the, uh, the two weeks. Um, 
to be given a sort of tasking sheet with a principal that we were due to look after and then for them to do a move by escort, whether it had been by foot or by vehicle, vehicle this time, to take them to a venue and then to move them again onto another one with a guest and a pickup. The way we go about this is that the sort of paperwork arrives with the tasking, who everybody is, etc. And pretty much a team of six or a team of eight or ten, however many were there, almost break up in divided groups from the team leader, where we break down into reconnaissance teams that will go and do the recce, i.e. the security advance parties, etc. You'll have another couple of the team members working on the threat and risk assessment to the, uh, the client and obviously to the team and, and, and the venues, etc. And then you'll have people working away on the, the IT to build up a set of orders, which is the culmination of all the groundwork that's been done previously which will allow us to develop a plan which we can take forward and brief to the team members before we actually go out and execute the mission, the operation or whatever it is. For us instantly, uh, we were asked to look after a uh, principal to take them by road, moving off to uh, two different venues where all the planning and everything will be done. And as we know, you know, no plan survives contact. So we were challenged by a, a change of venue at absolutely four or five minutes, probably before they were due to arrive, may have been a little bit longer. Um, a, a principal who was possibly a little bit more demanding in different ways, but because of all these new skills and the academic sort of study that we've done over the week, we were able to sort of adapt and become a little bit more flexible try not to overreact to things and just pull it all together as a team because we all knew exactly where everyone needed to be, exactly what they had to do and exactly what their responsibilities were. But as we know, even with all of that, things do change, but I would say the team did an extremely good job. Now I would say to any individual out there that may be thinking of moving into this as a sort of type of career that they would wish to embark on, that uh, Phoenix would be a very, very, very good choice for you. You know, having spent 32 years in the Marines and working with some, some superb people, I've been exposed to quality instructors, great venues and places to work. Well, I will that categorically say that, you know, being positioned here at the Hilton Hotel, you're almost in an executive environment whilst here on course. And then, as I talked about earlier, the, uh, the, the final exercise, you know, the resources that were put into this, I don't think you could make it more realistic you know, from, from, from actually what it was. The instructors are uh, extremely relevant. They've, they've worked within the security industry for years and some of them at the very, very highest level. And uh, the experiences that they've all gained over the many years that they've been working within this environment, being able to give it back to us as students is, is absolutely of paramount importance. You know, all say leadership by example is a, great, is a great way to work, but when you can hear it from the people that have worked on the ground and they're passing you their personal experiences, because no matter what you learn in a book, as I said, you know, one of the big things about being a CPO is the flexibility and your adaptability to sort of blend in. I always talk about it as being a little bit like being a chameleon. So I would say that what the instructors have taught us is uh, been extremely useful and uh, I couldn't recommend the instructors anymore. The uh, resources, as I said, that are put into everything that we've done here have been absolutely top class, from Rolls Royce cars to Range Rovers, and moving into a you know Britain's second city, Birmingham, and uh, being let loose out there to go and conduct and, and practice the skills that they have taught us. I, I would say to any individual out there thinking about Phoenix, you know. You couldn't go far wrong from uh, coming up and experiencing what I've been fortunate enough to experience and now feel privileged to have learned to take forward into my future.